calling Denny's. This is Vanessa. How can I help you? Yeah, Vanessa, you and me, we got ourselves a situation, a problem. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was there roughly uh, an hour and a half ago, and I had a waitress who was quite rude to me. And uh, we need to rec- Don't interrupt me. I mean, I'm... I'm ex- That's the second time you've interrupted me. I've ex- I'm trying to explain my situation. You've now uh, interrupted me twice. Okay. Okay? So I had a waitress who was very rude to me, as I've tried to say once before, before you rudely interrupted me twice. Do it. Do it a third time. I'll call the corporate office. Trust me. I'll get you fired. I will. Trust me. I've done it before. If you think I haven't, test me. Test me. I'll get you fired. Test me. Okay? I don't want to test me. Test me. Test me. Okay? So, uh, listen. I had a, uh, a waitress rude, acted rude to me, and I want to know... How are you going to rectify this to me? I need to talk to a manager. I need to speak to who's in charge over there. Okay, for sure. Give me yeah. just one minute for... Thank you. Uh-uh. Hello? Yes. How may I help you? Yeah, I was there roughly uh, an hour and a half ago. I had a waitress who was very rude to me as I uh, ordered what I wish to eat. And I want to know how you're going to rectify this. I'm very offended by your waitresses, the person, by the way, that you hired, not me, understand? You hired this person, and this person that you hired was rude to me. I want to know how you're going to rectify this to me. And who was your waitress, sir? Uh, do I know her name? I don't know who you hire. I don't know whom you, you personally decide to hire. That ain't up to me. I'm not on the hiring committee, okay? I don't decide whom and whom not works there. That ain't up to me. All I know. Do, do you have your receipt, sir? Do I have my receipt? Am I there? Do you, can you visually see my receipts? I'm calling. No, sir. I cannot. Ah! I'm in. Do not interrupt me when I'm talking to you. I'm trying to talk to you, and you're trying to interrupt me rudely as your waitress was rude to me. Is there just a whole staff of rude people there, or what? Are you just all rude? Is that part of the hiring process? Oh, by the way, are you rude? Oh, you are rude? Okay, I'll hire you, because I only hire rude people. Is that part of the stipulation of the hiring process there? That you only hire rude, interrupting people? Is that it? Because I'll call the corporate office. Trust me. I'll get you fired. Okay? Don't test me. I'll get you fired. Okay? Don't test me. I don't I don't stand for rudeness. I was there an hour and a half ago. Like I said, the waitress was rude to me. Do not be rude to me. Otherwise, I'll get you fired. Trust me. Test me all you want. Be arrogant. Test me all you want. Tomorrow, you'll get your kink slip. I guarantee you, you will. So do not test me, understand? Don't test me. I'm not one to be tested. I'm not a high school student. Do you understand? You may speak now. Could you um, tell me what you had ordered so I can figure out who had your station? French toast. That's what I ordered. It doesn't matter what I ordered. The bu- well, that way I can resolve the problem for you, sir. I would like to know who your server was so I can take care of your problem. I what? definitely would like to um, um, help you with this. Right. And if I can figure out where you were sitting and then I can figure out who your server was, and that's why I was asking if you had your receipt with her, because their name is on their receipt. Ruin. And that way I could better know me, the situation let's... and unsolve this problem for you, sir. Listen to me. Brunette, blue eyes. Okay? Female. Okay? Do you know who I'm talking about? Because that's who took my order. Was rude to me. Should be fired. Understand? Was she wearing glasses, sir? Yes. Yes, she was. Okay? And I don't deserve to be treated rudely. I'm not, I don't care what she went through. I don't care if she's on her period. I don't care if she had a problem with her boyfriend. I don't care if she flunked her math test at college. Okay? I'm not to be taken out. If you're having a bad day, don't take it out on me. Call off sick at work. I, you know, your bad day ain't my problem. Don't care if you had a bad day. Don't take it out on me. Understand? Perfectly. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. If I could get your name and number, and I will go find um, find out exactly what happened. My and name I can have my area manager call you, sir. Why? Why? I mean, you can't deal with this. No, thing. we want to resolve your problem for you, and we want you to be satisfied with your food and your service, and we, no. that's not acceptable, that somebody would 
to leave our restaurant upset. And that's not what we do. So what you're saying to me is you're not capable of handling my problem. you got to go to somebody else whom you think is more qualified. You're saying you're insecure and you can't handle my situation. That's what you're no, saying. No, sir. I'm trying to. Um, I would like to resolve your problem for you. Then you resolve it. I don't need to talk to anybody else. You resolve it yourself. You can do it yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay? Have faith in yourself. Know that you can do the job. You know, I don't need to talk to anybody else who you think is more qualified. Listen, uh, I don't need to talk to somebody with more status than you. Believe in yourself. You can handle this yourself. Thank you. And how was she rude to you, sir? How was she rude to me? I said I wanted to order French toast. And she said, the French are pussies. In World War II, the French wouldn't fight in the war. So, I mean, why do you want French toast when they're cowards? You should have American toast. That's what she said to me. Now, I don't know if she was trying to be funny, but she said it with seriousness. And let me tell you what, I have ancestors who are French, and I don't appreciate that kind of nonsense. I don't appreciate comedy. I'm a dramatic kind of person, okay? If I could get your name and number, I'll call you right back. I need to talk to the server that waited on you, and so we can. How about you put me on hold? I'll wait here. You talk to her. You come back to me, because I don't. I don't need you calling me back. I've called you now. We're talking now. Ain't no reason to hang up now. Well, I'm on. The, I don't have a hold button, so I can call her. I don't think she's That's... any longer in the building. Hold on one second. Ain't got. Yeah. Explain something to you. I was. I just came back to the phone, and you were not there. You had hung up on me, and I was asking the servers what the issue was, and none of the servers recall the issue, sir. Lie to me. So you're saying, oh, they'll lie to you, and you'll just believe. So if you want to give me your name and number, I can have the area manager call you. So, so what you're telling me is you're a sucker, and you'll believe somebody. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Have a nice day. I'll call you back a hundred times.